Vatican suppressed Bible books, God takes Enoch into heaven and turns him into a massive angel the size of earth. Rex Bear League Project, how the heck are you? What you are looking at is a translation of Enoch 3, or 3 Enoch, book 3 of Enoch, Nanu Nanu. Enoch receives blessings from the Most High and is adorned with angelic attributes. He's literally created into a new being once God takes him up into heaven. And it sounds like he takes him up into heaven in this, what could be a spaceship. So I'm just going to read this to you real quick. Ishmael said, and Ishmael is a rabbi, one of the leading figures in the Merkaba, and he has a vision in approximately 90 A.D., first century. He goes into heaven. He sees Enoch. He sees Metatron. And this is the vision of Enoch via Ishmael. Enoch receives blessings from the Most High and is adorned with angelic attributes. Ishmael said, Metatron, the prince of the presence, said to me, After all these things, the Holy One, blessed be, he put his hand upon me and blessed me with 536 O blessings. It's not a zero, it's an O. I don't know what that means. And I was raised and enlarged to the size and the length and width of the world. And he caused 72 wings to grow on me, 36 on each side. And each wing was as the whole world. And he fixed on me 365 eyes. Each eye was as the great luminary. And he left no kind of splendor, brilliance, radiance, beauty, and of all the lights of the universe that he did not fix on me. So, literally, (laughs) he is transformed into a planet with the stars, the lights of the stars as well. So it's even more than a planet. It's, it's something the size of a planet, but it's like an entire cosmos, an entire galaxy. He is transformed into a galactic consciousness. And the other angels tremble at his presence. No wonder this was left out of the Bible. Yesterday... I read a exorcism summoning Lucifer to exorcise demons from the 13th century Grim War, an ancient Grim War, with Jesus as the, the Son of the Most High and thanking Jesus, also a multitude of other spells in that Grim War that most likely was put together by a pope in the Vatican that did it clandestinely. The Book of Honorius. I had just ordered that book, actually. But what I find interesting about Enoch here is he is literally transformed into this cosmos consciousness the size of a planet. I want to get to the 5360 blessing. You know, I I could understand the 5,360. Maybe that was just a typo. I really doubt it. Could be. Could be. But, with that said, let's go into chapter 10. God places Metatron on a throne at the door of the seventh hall and announces through the herald that Metatron, henceforth, is God's representative and ruler over all the princes of kingdoms and all the children of heaven, save the eight high princes called Yahweh, Y-H-W-H, by the name Yahweh. Of their king. Ishmael said, Metatron, the prince of the presence, said to me, All these things the Holy One, blessed be, he made for me. He made me a throne similar to the throne of glory, and he spread over me a curtain of splendor and brilliance, appearance of beauty, grace, and mercy, similar to the curtain of the throne of glory, and on it were fixed all kinds of lights in the universe. And he placed it at the door of the seventh hall and seated me on it. And the herald went forth into every heaven, saying, This is Metatron, my servant, 
I have made him into a prince and a ruler over all the princes of my kingdoms and over all the children of heaven, except the eight great princes, the honored and revered ones who are called YHWH, Yahweh, by the name of their king. And every angle, every angel, and every prince, I just had an MK Ultra moment there, sorry. And every angel and every prince who has a word to speak in my presence before me shall go into his presence before him and shall speak to him instead. And every command that he utters to you in my name do ye observe and fulfill for the prince of wisdom and the prince of understanding have I committed to him to instruct him in the wisdom of heavenly things and of earthly things and the wisdom of the world and of the world to come. Moreover, I have set him over all the treasuries of the palaps of Araboha and over all the stores of life that I have in the high heavens. Chapter 11. Then God reveals all mysteries and secrets to Metatron. Now, there was something specific that I wanted to share with you guys also. Let me see if I can find it here. Yeah, right here. Chapter 12. God clothes Metatron in a garment of glory, puts a royal crown on his head, and calls him the lesser Yahweh. I was thinking of Mini Me, that movie Mini that has movie uh Nanny Nanny Mini Me in it. Which one is that? Anyway, so he's the lesser Yahweh. Ishmael said Metatron, the prince of the presence said to me, by reason of the love with which the Holy One blessed be, he loved me more than all the children of heaven. He made me a garment of glory on which were fixed all kinds of lights, and he clad me in it. And he made me a robe of honor on which were fixed all kinds of beauty, splendor, brilliance, and majesty. And he made me a royal crown in which were fixed 49 costly stones like unto the light of the globe of the sun. For its splendor went forth in the four quarters of the Araboth, Ruki. And in through the seven heavens and in the four quarters of the world. And he put it on my head. And he called me the lesser YHWH in the presence of all, his heavenly household, as it is written. For my name is in him. Chapter 13. Is God writes with a flaming style on Metatron's crown, the cosmic letters by which heavens and earth were created. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you the size of the actual mass of this garment. So let me see if I can find it here real quick. I'm going to search for it. It's 70,000. 70,000 parasang. 70,000 parasang. No, let's try this. There we go. So the 70,000 parasang. How big is that? Well, 70,000 parasang is 1,386,000,000 feet. That's the length of his garment. So that equates to 262,500 miles. A stadia is 660 feet. His crown is 30 stadia by 30 stadia. Let me read this to you again. Okay, this is chapter... Page. Nanny, nanny. Okay, this is chapter... I don't know. What is an L in Roman? Here we go. Instances of polar opposites kept in balance by several divine names and other similar wonders. This was an interesting chapter. 
So Metatron shows Rabbi Ishmael the letters engraved on the throne of glory by which letters everything in heaven and earth have been created. I'm going to get into that on the next podcast. Here we go. I'm kind of all over the place. My notes are scattered here. If you're still with me, folks, if you're still with me, this is what I was looking for. The height of his stature among all those that are of high stature is 70,000 parasangs. 70,000 parasangs. And I made his glory great as the majesty of my glory. So his height is 70,000 parasangs. So you take 70,000, you multiply that in... How do I have it all done here? 70,000 parasang equals 1,386,000,000 or 262,500 miles in height. That's how tall Metatron is. With 72 wings, 365 eyes, I think which represents each day of the year, Metatron is the prince of princes, you know, is the ruler over the princes, the only deities that are above him are in the eighth realm. What did he do to give him that opportunity to go to that level? This is an Enoch Metatron piece. See if I can find this. Enoch Metatron. Here we go. Had to be the last one, of course. An Enoch Metatron piece. I seized him, and I took him, and I appointed him, that is Enoch, the son of Jared, whose name is Metatron. And I took him from among the children of men and made him a throne over against my throne, which is the size of that throne, 70,000 parasangs, all of fire. So we just went over how big 70,000 parasangs is. It's huge. 70,000 parasangs, 262,500 miles. And it's of fire. It's made of fire. I committed unto him 70 angels corresponding to the nations of the world. So there's 70 nations of the world at that time. I gave into his charge all the household above and below. And I committed to him wisdom and intelligence more than to all the angels. And I called his name the lesser Yah. Y-A-H, whose name is by Gematria 71. And I arranged for him all the works of creation, and I made his power to transcend. I made for him power more than all the ministering angels. He committed unto Metatron, that is Enoch, the son of Jared, all treasuries. And I appointed him over all the stores that I have in every heaven. And I committed into his hands the keys of each heavenly store. I made of him the prince over all the princes, And I made of him a minister of my throne of glory to provide for and arrange the holy Cheyoth to wreath crowns for them, to crown them with crowns, to clothe them with honor and majesty, to prepare for them a seat where he is sitting on his throne, to magnify his glory in the height, the height of his statue among all those that are of high stature, 70,000 parasangs. 262,000 miles. 262,500. And I made his glory great as the majesty of my glory, and the brilliance of his eyes as the splendor of the throne of glory, his garment honor and majesty, his royal crown, 500 by 500 parasangs. That means his crown alone, you guys, his royal crown, I had an answer for that. Where to go? 62 and a half miles wide, 62 and a half miles long. That's a pretty big crown. So I would like to know, seriously, what, what would it take to get put into that opportunity? You know, like, 
God thinks you're so great, he puts you into high-level angel status. I think that is absolutely incredible. What are your thoughts, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you for being here with me. Question everything. LeakProject.com. Be the change you want to see.